Uh, and it's after getting to kind of watch the film back, what, what did you think of the performance after being able to see it versus being after the moment in it? Uh, I thought we had a pretty good performance, but you know, overall, me personally, I could do a better job. You know, I could have hit some runs for more yards. and. Uh, I really came in the film trying to see the things I can get better at, not watching the good things, but I think we can correct the little mistakes, little things like turnovers and everything moving forward. We'll be ready for Michigan State. Now, how has Coach Barthol kind of been with you working through those things and kind of helping you to identify those things that you can work on, but then also showing you how to do it? Yeah, Coach EJ, he has a big passion for the game of football. Uh, he's always with me, you know, before practice, after practice. He's always meeting with us, you know, helping us make sure we know what we're doing on the field. And I think he's been, you know, helping me a lot throughout the whole process, become better running back overall. What's this year kind of been like for you, going from a guy who's, you know, like fourth on the depth chart to someone who's taking very, very meaningful snaps for a team that's trying to get to a bowl game? Yeah, I'll definitely say, like I said, I just kept my faith in God, you know, even when I wasn't playing, it was tough, but I was just trying to work hard in practice. Uh, you know, I knew eventually I was going to get a shot, so I just kept working, kept working for my time, and I was ready for my moment. So I think just working during the times that I wasn't playing helped me so that now when I'm in, you know, now when I'm starting or playing a lot, you know, it doesn't, nothing changes for me. I'm going the same uh, way I was doing before in practice. You, you mentioned that you know you knew if you kept working hard that you would get your shot. Is that something that you that you feel like other guys on the team feel like as well? It seems like we've seen guys kind of pop up after working hard on, uh, in practice and behind the scenes. Yeah, I definitely think you know Coach Rule and everybody does a, a great job of having us go hard in practice so that he's preparing. You know, the twos, the threes, got to be ready to play uh, in any game. He prepares everybody to be ready so that. You know, when guys like, you know, Jalen Lloyd, Malachi Coleman, those guys got to step up, it's not a big deal because we only know one thing, and that's the standard, and everybody practices to that standard. You like playing in the cold when it's like this? Does it remind you of home a little bit? Yeah, we had a, a really cold practice today, and I think, you know, that's something I used to my advantage being from Minnesota. It's been cold down there, and when you're running downhill at somebody, they don't want to attack you in these type of conditions, and I think that's what I used to my advantage. Where do you want to take the next step forward this week? What's the first thing you want to sort of correct for Michigan State? Uh, I'll definitely just say just getting one better every day, uh, working on everything, pass protection, you know, running downhill, making the right reads, and just uh, learning as much as I can about Michigan State so that my job's easy on Saturday. What jumps out to you about their, their linebacking core and some of the guys that you're going to be trying to force to make miss or whatever it is that you're looking at this week? Yeah, they have a solid defense. I watched you know, some of them against Minnesota. They played them really tough. Uh, until you know Minnesota took off with the game, but uh, they got some great linebackers. You know, 27, number five. They're good some linebackers, and they're, they're nickel. I mean, they're, they're Sam Seven, pretty good player too. And they're, they're a really physical team that they're not going to give up. You know, some of those guys are last year, so they're probably fighting. You know, fighting, trying to make a bowl game, trying to make something happen. So uh, we got to go in there and just play hard as a team. You know, what did you think about after being able to watch the game back about the offensive line and kind of how they gelled together with, you know, having the three new starters out there? How did you think that they kind of came together? Yeah, I, I seen it uh, during the week in practice. You know, Coach Rayola, like, like I said, they get the backups ready. They get the twos, the threes ready to play so that, you know, when it came to the game, the moment wasn't big for them. I think Justin, you know, ever since, you know, the season started, he's been doing a good job with the uh, O-line and just getting those boys ready. And I definitely think, you know, we got a great young group of uh, O-line that can help us uh, down the stretch. Uh, guys like Nuri, you know, coming back from injury and everything. I'm praying for Piper. He's not playing. So, you know, the younger guys got to be able to step up and help. So I think uh, just the way we practice helps those guys be ready for the game because, you know, nobody's seen as a backup. They're all ready to step up. Anything else? Okay.